I don't ride dirt bikes. I don't ride the dirt tracks. In my younger years, in my younger years. <laughs> Look at that, the dirt track. I wish I could've got it from back there. I love it. These guys tan up. And like I said, this, this video is for Monkey Butt Ride, Dave. If you guys hadn't seen it, I wish I would've caught it a little further back there so I could catch the whole track. But I saw him coming around this corner right here and I decided to stop. But Dave, Monkey Butt Rides, he's a dirt track extraordinaire. I seen him race his bike after a three year layoff and done extremely well. well He, he'll be the first to tell you he's not a spring chicken young anymore but he was out there competing and actually killing it man i loved it it was adrenaline pumping matter of fact i will tag his video in this video so you can watch what i'm talking about but look at oh i just see the high jump over there <laughs> he coming around the corner a lot of them coming around the corner was actually nodding and waving at me too they see me sitting here on the side of the road oh my goodness I'm, woo! <laughs> I don't know if the camera gonna pick it up because the sun is that direction. Oh, them two just came right here. Look, 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 he about to pass him up. Yeah, baby. Oh, man, that's what's up, baby. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, this is Booster G's Riders, and you know, we all things motorcycle. Doesn't matter what you ride, we all about motorcycles. Anyway, let me get on this road and go. I just want to do a quick video so you can see that. Now, I can say, I don't ride dirt bikes, I don't ride the dirt tracks. In my younger years, in my younger years, <laughs> I didn't ride him either. <laughs> I didn't ride him my younger years either. So y'all know I ain't about to lie about that. Oh my goodness, that was exciting. That track is probably about maybe 20 miles from our house. We have one that's at least maybe five to six miles from our house that maybe I'm gonna go to one day and uh, record inside of that, that track. So I'm gonna just cut this video real short. I just wanted to bring it in because I was uh, uh, heading back home, doing a ride, headed back home. And uh, I remember that track was there. So as I was passing, I said, let me pull over on the side of the road and catch some of it. I should have went inside, but that was too cool. I loved it. I loved it. You know, and, and, and you, know, uh, you know, I ain't too much bike specific. I love it. all things motorcycle. However, I don't plan on changing from my gold wing. Well, I guess you can say I'm bike specific, but I watch a lot of stuff and I'm not bike specific on what what I watch, unless, listen to this people, unless your videos are bike specific. But what I'm talking about is if you order a part that you're going to put on your bike that only goes on your bike and I have no interest in that, I'm probably not going to watch it. But for the most part, anybody I subscribe to, I'll try to watch. And you know, since we're all out here having a, a great time doing this type of stuff, it's kind of hard to watch everybody you subscribe to. So if you're doing a, for instance, if you're doing a light installment that only go on your Harley Davidson Road Glide and it would not fit a gold wing, I have no interest in that video. I probably watch it because I support a lot of people that do these type of thing. But on the same token, if you're talking about an item that you're putting on, go with Harley Davidson again, on your Harley Davidson Road Glide, and it's a universal item, oh, I'm gonna watch it. Cause I might say, whoa, I don't mind one of those. That thing might help me out. So, you know, I am a person who just love, and I know I can speak for cake. I love cake. <laughs> now, I'm talking about with motorcycles. I love all things dealing with motorcycles. In fact, here come two riders coming around this big corner right now. They look like sport bikes. Yep. And another one. Yep. This this area, for those who live in our area, this is out the Altamont Pass. It has no tight turns, but it's a raceway for as big curves and sweepers. And Boat Cake and I agree that we ride it a lot. We really eat it up that it is a road for intermediate as well 
it has beginner rider because obviously if you're a beginner rider since it has no tight corners or turn you just ride it at your level you know and i can't go too fast because as i was coming up i see a, a truck in front of me but ride it at the level you know how to ride this road obviously like you, you can see not no big twisties but this road i think could be a good road and it's called Altamont Pass. Could be a good road to really start learning how to hit your twisties. And they're not tight twisties. By riding outside, inside, back out, looking through the corner. Because there are some, there are maybe two or three blind corners here. But not very many of them. Like right now, a lot of debris on the road. So <laughs> be careful. Like right here, it's not necessarily a blind corner, but I'm, I can't, I can see, but not fully. So I'm still on the outside. Now I'm coming in a little bit on the inside and maintaining that speed until I see my exit, straighten up my bike, and then I can throttle through it. But you still got to look through the corner. But anyway, I <laughs> turned this out of a uh, training video, which I had no intention of doing. But anyway, that's all I have for now. So if y'all riding, remember, ride long. Ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. For Boats and Genius Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace. Go check out Monkey Butt Channel.